What's up guys? So in this video, we'll be taking a look at my first cell phone. And no, it is not this Samsung, but actually this Sanyo, which my parents bought me in late 04 or 03. I'm not entirely sure, but this one here is the actual phone I used for a few years. So let's take a look at the specs. The phone is rocking a display of 120 by 144 resolution. And I mean, geez, thankfully it's a color display. And the camera's resolution is 352 by 288. And the standby time is roughly 257 hours, which is actually very, very good. It's crazy to think that back in the day, phones weren't so much about specs, but rather what they can do and how thin and small they could be. The smaller the phone, the more expensive it would be. Eventually, my parents decided to renew their contracts and purchase yet another phone. And it was yet another Sanyo, but this time, the phone had no camera. I remember being rather upset about this, but I eventually got over it because the camera wasn't all that good to begin with. At the same time, I had a point and shoot camera from Canon for pictures, and that was all I really needed for cameras. This cell phone was mostly the same form factor as the previous gen. It was just a newer free phone with a two year contract from Sprint. A few months after this phone, for the first time, I started looking at fancier phones and what it meant to own a slim and great looking phone. And that's when the whole Motorola Razr craze began. I was still in high school at the time, so I couldn't afford such a phone. So I ended up buying a thin yet attractive alternative from Samsung. This phone was my first great cell phone and it looked modern for the time. And the display was a higher resolution with a few more colors and the resolution was 120 by 160 and it included a VGA camera with a slightly higher resolution. But to be honest, it was mostly about the slim profile and having a relatively small cell phone. The Samsung phone was about the same as my previous Sanyo, but just radically smaller. And that's all I really cared about. A phone back then was more about making phone calls and the smaller the better and more elegant. Nowadays, we want them to be bigger because they're more like computers rather than just phones. So things have changed. A few years after owning the Samsung phone, I had my eyes on the first iPhone, but it was far too expensive. So I waited a year and bought my first smartphone ever, the iPhone 3G, which I bought on release date. I don't have it anymore, but I still have the box. And the phone was honestly the phone that changed my perspective on what a smartphone should be. I wish I would have kept it. Kind of strange that I've kept every cell phone before it, but never kept any of my smartphones. Perhaps it was because of their resale value. But anyways, that was my first cell phone. And I plan on keeping it because it still works. It just needs a new battery. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.